Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? What's up guys, my name is the Kiwi Dragon, and I'm back again today with my personal top 10 picks for which missing characters I still want to see included in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. So these are the characters that I want to see in upcoming Grand Prix, especially as the Grand Prix are going to start wearing a bit thin at this point. Uh, I believe Beta M said that we were looking to have Grand Prix up until about May or June according to one of his data lines. I think it was for Winter Festival, which talked about there being Grand Prix heading into this new year. But of course, we don't know how much longer we'll be getting these Grand Prix and how many more characters will actually be added to the game. So this is a list for me personally of the characters that I want to see. If they get added, great. Absolutely awesome. I'll be over the moon. If they don't, I'll be a bit gutted. But hey, you know, we've got a massive bunch of characters to pick from now. We have, what, 50 characters as of Mega Mix? That's pretty insane. But yeah, so before I go over the list, guys, here's a couple of quick ground rules. Number one, one character per entry, unless there is good reason to include multiple. Number two, characters from both Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon are eligible for entry. Number three, no other guest characters. So no Jack and Daxter, no Ratchet and Clank, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, Sonic the Hedgehog, or even Bubsy the Blimmin' Bobcat. Sorry! And number four, I won't be including a certain character from the February data mine because, well, he's in the data mine. So, if he's in the data mine, he practically is in the game at this point. But I'm not going to be mentioning who that is for a couple of seconds in case you guys want to skip ahead, in case you don't know who it is, so you can avoid being spoiled. Here you go, a couple of seconds. Three, two, one. Emperor Velo the 27th, aka Fake Velo. I won't be talking about him, like I mentioned before, because he is practically confirmed courtesy of that sticker from the February data mine video that I did, so he won't be on the list. And remember guys, this of course is my opinion. If you don't like it, then that's absolutely fine. Feel free to let me know in the comments below as to who you'd be interested in seeing in CTR Nitro Fueled instead. But if you like this video and agree with me, then great, that's awesome. All right, let's begin the list, shall we? Number 10, Baby Cortex and Baby Entropy. All right, yeah, I'm kind of bending the rules here at the beginning of this list, but shh, it's my list. And these characters are pretty similar, really, anyway. This one shouldn't have come as much of a surprise, as these two have been hinted at since the original data mine. Baby Crash and Baby Coco arrived in August last year as part of the Back in Time Grand Prix, but no Baby Cortex or Baby Tropy. Why? After all, Baby Cortex and Baby Tropy were established in the 105% ending of Crash 3 Warped or 108 if you're playing the Insane Trilogy. But yet, we get two baby versions of characters who haven't appeared before in the franchise. It makes no sense to me, and personally I will never not be confused by their exclusion from the Back in Time Grand Prix. Are they ever going to be introduced? At this rate, probably not, especially as Baby Crash and Baby Coco weren't exactly met with universal acclaim by the Crash Bandicoot community. You know, too many references to Baby Mario and Mario Kart and the like. But yeah, we probably won't be seeing Baby Cortex or Baby Tropy unless we get a Back in Time 2 Grand Prix. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Number 9, Ripto and the Sorceress. Again, I'm breaking the rules here, but this is another one you could really expect to see on this list. Unlike Baby Cortex and Baby Tropy, who are lumped together being similar characters as their babies, I lumped together Ripto and Sorceress as A, they're both Spyro villains, and B, they were also referenced in past data mines. So as a result, I decided to lump these two together instead of giving them separate entries. Unlike Baby Cortex and Baby Tropy, though, I remain slightly hopeful that these two will actually appear. After all, fans truly want to see the rest of Spyro characters as they were led to believe they would actually appear in the game, and the lack of villain representation for Spyro 2 and 3 is rather sad. And personally, while I like Nasty Nork, I love Ripto even more, and was even hoping he'd be in the original Spyro Grand Prix. So maybe, is there hope for a bit of a second Spyro Grand Prix, perhaps? Hopefully, maybe, please, Beanox, Ripto, Sorceress, please, thank you. Number 8, Elora. This one is where people might disagree with me. I actually really like Elora and find her absence from Spyro 3 for the large part and then the rest of the series just odd. Like, I know she's been replaced by Bianca, but couldn't they have two strong female characters in this series or is there only room for one? Anyway, 
I like Alora just a bit more than Bianca, honestly. Not sure why, maybe it's because I just don't really find the whole klutz thing that Bianca has going very appealing, and I think she'd be a great addition to the game. If only just to give her an additional appearance and also a playable appearance, as she was supposed to appear in Season of Ice in some form, and then was supposed to appear as a playable character in Attack of the Rhinox. But both times plans were cancelled, leaving Alora with her main appearance in Spyro 2 and her endgame cameo in Spyro 3. Oh, and an appearance as a trading card in Spyro Orange, but we, we, we don't talk about that one. Anyway, I do think Alora deserves a shot as a playable character, and to have an extra game credit under the character's name. However, Cassandra Lee Morris is not listed as a voice actress for CTR, as she's been recently working on other projects, including Persona from what I understand. So would they have to recast her, or does this hurt Allura's chances of getting into CTR overall? Personally, I'm not sure, but I'd be really happy to see Allura in CTR. Number 7, The Evil Twins, Victor and Moritz. Alright, back to Crash characters at last, and the last of my two character picks. We now move on to the Evil Twins. Honestly, I'm not overly familiar with Crash Twin Sanity. It was one of the last games in the Crash series that I got to play. But personally, how these guys are not included already is honestly surprising. They are one of the few main villains left not to be included in CTR, although they were referenced in a portrait hanging on the wall in Nina's Nightmare, and considering how beloved Twin Sanity is, it is again surprising that the Evil Twins have yet to appear in CTR. Hopefully these guys will actually make an appearance really soon. Maybe as part of the Twin Sanity Grand Prix, perhaps. Number 6. Evil Crash. Okay, let me start this off by saying yes, I'm okay with having Evil Crash as a character and not a skin. Personally, I find something appealing about having a race where you have Crash versus Fake Crash versus Evil Crash. There's just something nice about it. I don't think Evil Crash should be a skin. Evil Crash is just so different to Crash, both in design and behaviour. Again, appearing in Nina's Nightmare as a shadow through the lightning flashes in the window. I feel that Evil Crash is another one that could be included in the Twin Sanity Grand Prix. And before anyone asks, Evil Coco is not on this list. Keep that smut off my screen! Also, Dark Coco is essentially Evil Coco with a few family-friendly alterations. So can we please stop asking for her inclusion as a separate character? Please. Number 5. The Warthog, aka Pork. How has Pork been overlooked for this long? We had Pura and Polar in the original game, and then back in time Grand Prix added Baby T, yet Pork is still missing. And before anyone says you only get to ride Pork in two levels, you only get to ride Baby T in two levels as well. So why can't Pork be included? Come on, Beanox, complete the set. Add Pork as a playable racer already. Number 4. Willy Wumpa Cheeks. You know what the most disappointing thing about Crash Tag Team Racing is for me? Not actually being able to face the villain of the game, Willy Wumpa Cheeks. Why couldn't we face him? Well, simple. He's relegated to a cutscene where he gets liquefied by Cortex right at the end of the game. It's the only game where you don't get a satisfying final showdown with the main villain. Plus, Willy is completely unplayable in any other game. So, what better way to fix that than by including him in Nitro Fueled? Number 3, Madam Amberley. CTR Nitro Fueled has been great for having more villain representation, but also having more female representation. However, as it stands, we only have one female villain, aka Nina Cortex. But, what if there was another female villain we could add to Nitro Fueled? If you haven't caught on already, I am referring to Madame Ambly, as I mentioned before. She's a great villain who had a great boss fight in Twin Sanity, and was even again referenced in Nina's Nightmare in a portrait. Yet another villain we could add for a Twin Sanity Grand Prix. Hopefully we will see Madame Ambly added to the game very, very soon. Number 2. The Viscount. You know which game has not had a single bit of representation in Nitro Fueled? I do, and it's the best game in the franchise. So good it was met with critical acclaim. So good it got Game of the Year nominations. So good that the fans sing praises of this game, even when they're not even talking about Crash Bandicoot. I am of course referring to... 
Crash, boom, bang. Yeah, I got you, didn't I? You thought I was seriously going to say something good about Crash, boom, bang. But seriously, Crash, boom, bang doesn't have a single bit of representation. So who better than to include than the Viscount? V Viscount? How am I supposed to pronounce this thing's name? Is the S supposed to be silent? I'm, I'm honestly confused. But anyway, this guy deserves a spot in CTR Nitro Fueled simply to act as the only reference to one of the worst Crash games of all time. Who knows, I think he could even be a pretty entertaining snooty character. But he isn't worthy of the number one spot. And if you haven't guessed already who number one is, here's some honourable mentions to help you narrow it down. Bianca. If there was an 11th spot on this list, Bianca would get it. As I said before, I like Bianca, but I like Alora more. Sorry guys, it's just as simple as that. And there can't be 11 spots on this list despite the fact that I've technically included 13 characters as then I wouldn't be able to count, and I'm probably going to be accused of not being able to count as it is, so... BULLY! Money bags. This guy would be worth adding to CTR if only for the trolling potential. Include him in some kind of Wumper coin bundle, that'd be pretty funny. But then again, considering how some of the community reacts when you mention the word microtransactions in CTR, it's probably best if we just leave money bags out of this one, don't you think? The Professor, Sheila, Sergeant Bird, Bentley, and Agent Nine. Trust me, I adore all five of these characters, but let's be real, their chances of getting included in Nitro Fueled was slim at best from the offset. Besides, I'd love to see the Spyro franchise get a whole lot more representation, it's just that you know, some Crash fans will only get upset and complain about it being called Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, not Crash and Spyro Team Racing Nitro Fueled. So, sorry to anyone wanting these guys in the game, I don't think they were ever going to get in. The Bearminator, Rusty Walrus and Farmer Ernest While I think it could be hilarious adding these three, especially as Rusty was referenced twice during the Mega Mix Mania track, I just don't know if I can see them being included. Yes, references like that usually point to characters being included in later Grand Prix, see Nina, Brio and Rilla Roo for examples, but I'm just not seeing Rusty being included. He's quite a minor character, all things considered, and I think this might be all we see out of Rusty personally. While Bearminator and Farmer Ernest, I don't know, they just come across as maybe a bit too obscure. I mean, Rilla Roo was obscure, but at least he was playable, so maybe these guys don't have much of a chance either. Any of the Titans? I'm not a fan of the Titans, personally. But I know some people want them in the game, so my only problem is, are these guys big enough to warrant an inclusion? Also, while Bearminator, Rusty and Farmer Ernest are all small-time characters, they're all beloved and remembered by the large majority of the community. While anything to do with Titans and Mind Over Mutant aren't exactly looked back on fondly by a fair bit of the community as well. So maybe that's got something going against it. And finally, number one, Mr. Crumb. Yep, if you couldn't guess it already, number one goes to Mr. Crumb. But who and why? Well, if you haven't heard all the recent buzz about Mr. Crumb, allow me to give you a quick few pointers. Mr. Crumb is the antagonist of the 1998 handheld game Crash Bandicoot 99X developed by Tiger Electronics. He is a ghost of a wealthy old man that guards forbidden treasure inside a condemned mansion and literally only appears in this handheld electronic game. Because of this, I find him personally such an enigma, a character that needs to be included. If Viscount slash Viscount, however you want to pronounce him, has to be included to give some references to one of the worst games of the Crash series, why not include Mr. Crumb as a nod to the most obscure game in the series, even if it is an LCD game? After all, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is a love letter to everything Crash at this point, and what better a way than to show that by including a character even more obscure than something like Yaya Panda or Rilla Roo? And that's the list. Do you agree with my picks? Have I missed anyone out? Let me know in the comments below. 
Don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed this video, share this video with your friends, family or your favourite Crash Bandicoot communities and hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon to be notified about when my next video comes out. I've been the Kiwi Dragon, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.